Is Fortnite finally saved? Well, let's rewind a bit. Season 3. 99% of players will agree that Fortnite was at its peak around this time. Fortnite was a game that felt fresh and simple. No one was super skilled at the game, and building was something fun to try out. But what happened? Yep. But seriously, this game is fucking terrible right now. I'm so triggered. Literally, right now, right now, this game is the OG season. Much of the content within this new update is linked to nostalgia. So what exactly is Epic trying to do with this season? Well, let's find out. With this new season, we have a brand new OG battle pass. This battle pass features 50 tiers instead of 100, taking us back to season two. But what's actually special about it? Fortnite has given us a battle pass similar to season X. Each of the skins and their cosmetics relate to a season in chapter one. We've got the Spectra Knight, the Royal Knight from season two. Lil Split, referring to Peely from season eight. Renegade Lynx, a mix of both Lynx from Season 7 and Renegade Raider from Season 1 combined. And lastly, Omega Rock, a futuristic version of Ragnarok from Season 5. But let's just stop there. The battle Pass is the least of our worries. I'm not letting Fortnite get away that fast. Gameplay. The main thing that makes or breaks a game. People love Fortnite for its simplistic and original approach to Battle Royale. Being able to have fun by yourself or with others in the easiest and most fun way possible. Fortnite's popularity dramatically dropped after Chapter 1 as it just got complex. There were a million items in the game, overpowered weapons, and the item shop was five pages long. But most importantly, sweats took over the game. I'm not sure if Fortnite was aware that their future would change entirely once players became accustomed to building. It made for great esports, but the amount of fun players were having went down dramatically. One large addition to the game which had kept players at bay was the introduction of zero build modes. <laughs> allowing you and your friends to play Fortnite without having the hassle of a 10 year old sweating on you. So despite this, players were getting bored of the game and choosing alternative games over Fortnite. But the Fortnite OG update looks promising, so let's dive into it. Oh, well look at that. This bus ride never disappointed. I feel like Salty Springs is the way to go. Oh, yep, and everyone's coming here. Just great. Okay, let's get that. Oh, and already someone's gone for us, jeez. Time to find us some players. Gonna be a bit cautious, but I'm pretty sure no one's here. Oh, what is that I see? Uh, maybe I shouldn't have started this fight. Well, I think he's building a five-story hotel on top of me now. And this is why I love Fortnite so much. The map. In this beautiful update, Fortnite gave us all the places we loved. Pleasant parks, salty springs, tilted towers, and much more. But, uh, where, where's Moisty Myers? Moisty Myers, single-handedly the best POI Fortnite has ever had. Forget sweats, forget overpowered weapons. Moisty Myers was Fortnite. Well, that's my opinion. With this new update, Fortnite removed the vehicles. Though Fortnite did give us something special in return, the trolley. The amazing vehicle which can take you and your teammates everywhere in style. The weapons. Fortnite removed every weapon put in the game after chapter 1, instead putting in all the OG weapons. Most notably, the pump shotgun. This removed all the overpowered and weird crap. Well, actually, last season's items were pretty cool. But it makes Fortnite feel more clean and simple. Plus, it's OG, so... With that all out of the way, has this update truly saved Fortnite's future? Well, in my opinion, yes. OG Fortnite has given players a reminder of why they started playing Fortnite in the first place, showing that they truly care for their players. I believe the future of Fortnite could be good. The OG Pass will only be around for 25 more days, so what comes after that, no one knows. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching, peace.